All right. So we're going to, in this example, we're going to put this orthogonal projection formula to use. Um, now, one thing you've got to keep in mind, right, pay attention to which vector is being projected onto which other one and think about, you know, the formula. Because I, I've written the formula here with u dot v over magnitude of u squared um, multiplied by the vector u. Now, that's the projection of v onto u. And so you kind of have to think it through and think about, well, okay, v is being projected onto u. gives me a vector parallel to u, so it should be a scalar multiple of u. Right now, in the example, right, uh, the first one asks for u onto v. So what we actually want here is the projection of u onto v. So we've reversed the roles, right? Here it was v onto u. Now it's u onto v, and so we have to be careful about that. It's going to be v dotted with u over the magnitude of v squared, or v dot v if you prefer, right? And then multiplied by v. Okay, so let's work out what those values are, okay? So v dot u, we're gonna do, so it's three times minus two, and then one times one, over the magnitude of v squared, so 3 squared plus 1 squared times v, which is the vector 3, 1. Okay, so minus 6 plus 1, so that's minus 5 on top, 10 on the bottom, so that works out to minus 1 half of the vector 3, 1. Okay? Um, now, one of the things that you might do from here is just sort of sketch things to see what you've ended up with. Should have brought more colors. Um, so the original vectors, u is where? Minus 2, 1, 2, and 1. So there's u. v, 3, 1. 1, 2, 3. And up 1 is here. Okay, so there's V, <coughs> and notice that it's, a, it's an obtuse angle this time, right? It's not quite like the picture I drew. The angle is here, and here's the, that's not quite straight, is it? Well, close enough. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, the line through V. And so we, we expect that U is going to be projected down onto that line to get us a right angle, right? And so the projection is minus one half of V, right? So the projection is half the length of V and it points in the opposite direction. And that seems to check out, right? Here's the projection of u onto v, right? It's parallel to v, and it does have this property that this vector ends where this perpendicular coming from the tip of u meets the line. Great. All right, let's try the second one. Same procedure, three dimensions, w onto x. So we're doing the projection of w onto x, which means we're doing w dotted with x over the magnitude of x squared. Let's write it as x dot x this time, just for fun, and times x, right? We're projecting onto x, so we should get something parallel to x. Should look like that, okay? So, w dotted with x, we're going to get uh, 2 times 1, 1 times 1, 3 times 1, 2 plus 1 plus 3. x dot x is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1. And we're projecting onto x, 1, 1, 1. So that is going to be 6 over 3, it's 2. Right? 2 times 1 
1, 1. So this time the projection is in the same direction as x and twice as long. I'm not going to try to draw it. It's three, drawing vectors in three dimensions is kind of a fool's errand, as we've mentioned before. Um, you can take a look at the textbook where we have a nice three-dimensional interactive image that you can play around with to see what those look like and confirm that that projection is indeed twice as long as the original vector. <laughs>